Bevink on the Christian Life, Following Jesus in Faithful Service, written by John Bolt, explores the theology and spiritual legacy of Hermann Bevink, a significant Dutch Reformed theologian of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In this thorough examination of Bevink's writings and teachings on Christian living, Bolt delves into various themes that were central to Bevink's understanding of the Christian life, emphasizing the importance of following Jesus in all areas of life. Bolt begins by providing a biographical sketch of Bevink, noting his upbringing in the Dutch Reformed tradition, his academic prowess, and his role as a pastor and professor. Bevink's work was primarily shaped by the religious, social, and intellectual challenges of his time, as he sought to articulate a faithful Reformed theology that was both orthodox and responsive to modernity. Central to Bavink's theology was the notion that all of life is to be lived quorum Deo, before the face of God. He believed that every aspect of one's life, whether sacred or secular, should be directed towards God's glory. This worldview contrasted sharply with the sacred-secular divide that often characterized the approach of his contemporaries. Bavink held that there was no part of life that was not touched by Christ's lordship, and thus every vocation and relationship held the potential for Christian faithfulness. Bolt explores Bavink's understanding of creation, where Bavink viewed the world and everything in it as God's good creation. As such, Christians are not to shun the world but to engage with it positively, seeking its redemption and renewal. This mindset carries implications for issues such as culture, science, and the arts. Bavink encouraged Christians to be actively involved in these spheres, with the belief that they too are part of God's redemptive plan. Key to Bavink's Christian life is the idea of union with Christ. This union, as articulated by Bavink, impacts the believer's identity, enabling them to live out their faith authentically and holistically. Through union with Christ, believers are called to exhibit fruits of righteousness and to grow in sanctification. To Bavink, sanctification is not merely an individual endeavor, but it involves the community of believers, highlighting the importance of the church in the Christian life. In the realm of morality and ethics, Bavink emphasized that Christian ethics are based on the law of God, which finds its fulfillment in love. Love, as defined by Bavink, is self-giving for the benefit of others, modeled on the love of Christ. For Bavink, this love extends to all relationships, family, neighbors, and even society at large, and includes engagement in social issues. Bolt discusses Bavink's approach to piety and devotion, noting that Bavink encouraged a balanced spiritual life that is both intellectual and effective. That is, it engages both the mind and the heart. Prayer, Bible study, worship, and the sacraments were primary means by which believers could grow in their faith and devotion to God. Bavink also addressed the issue of doubt, acknowledging its presence in the life of believers and urging trust in the promises of God and the testimony of the Holy Spirit rather than in the strength of one's own faith. The book explores Bavink's thoughts on the end times and Christian hope, demonstrating Bavink's amillennial perspective. Bavink believed that Christians are to live with an anticipation of Christ's return and the consummation of all things. He rejected both an overly pessimistic view of the world's future and an over-realized eschatology that expected heaven on earth before Christ's return. Instead, Bavink reminded Christians that their ultimate hope lies in the new creation that God will bring about. Education was another aspect of the Christian life that Bavink cared deeply about. He argued that education should be grounded in a Christian worldview and should aim at forming individuals who could serve God and neighbor in various vocatal. This forms the basis for a Christian engagement with societal structures and the call for justice and righteousness in public life. Towards the end of the book, Bolt examines Bavink's legacy and how his insights into the Christian life remain relevant for contemporary believers. The challenges faced by Bavink in his context such as the relation between Christianity and culture or faith and reason, continue to be pressing issues for the Church today. Bavink's nuanced and holistic approach to these challenges offers guidance and wisdom for Christians seeking to navigate their own cultural moment faithfully. In concluding, John Bolt presents Herman Bavink as a theologian deeply committed to the Reformed tradition, 
who nevertheless engaged with the world openly and constructively. Bavinck's vision of the Christian life calls for a robust engagement with the world, informed by a solid theological foundation that influences all areas of life. Following Jesus, according to Bavinck, involves both the mind and the heart, touches every sphere of human existence, and anticipates the assured hope of the world's renewal in Christ. Bevink on the Christian life is more than a mere biography or an overview of doctrinal positions. It demonstrates how one theologian's commitment to the gospel can shape every aspect of living in the world. For Bevink, theology was not just an academic pursuit, but the very basis for living a life of faithful service to God and neighbor. Through his writings, Bevink encourages Christians not only to understand their faith, but to put it into action in the everyday rhythms of work, family, society, and worship. Bolt's work serves as a bridge connecting Bevink's thought with contemporary discipleship, urging a Christianity that is both deeply rooted in historic orthodoxy and dynamically engaged with the world today. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.